Hey, good evening. It's Kevin Blackson. Tonight, I'm going to talk about acquisitions and digital advertising dominance, especially as it relates to market share. But first, let's talk a little bit about walled gardens and why this concept is important. A walled garden is basically, if you think of a moat that a company builds around all of its data. And the typical companies that do this are your large players like Amazon, Facebook, Google, Walmart, and Disney. And they can do that because they have the huge audience to do it. We ended up with wall gardens. We actually started the wall gardens, I would argue, with uh, the advent of AOL in the 1990s. People went and logged in through AOL, through their modems, and they had everything they needed there. They didn't really go beyond that to explore. And then as the popularity of the internet grew, it became the Wild West, and privacy concerns ended up becoming at the forefront. And so you fast forward today, and the concern around uh, third-party cookies and privacy issues has forced a lot of companies to uh, protect their first-party data and grow that through acquisitions. Now, wall gardens like Facebook, Google, Amazon, they're doing it through various platforms that they've acquired. If you take a look at Facebook, they have Instagram, WhatsApp, Amazon has Twitch, Freedive, Fire TV, Prime, and Echo. Disney is growing their Walmart wall garden uh, with Disney Plus. Now here's a pictorial view of the current media landscape. And I show this graph because it's, it's a pretty cool graph from uh, Vox. And um, these large circles like AT&T, Verizon, Disney, just imagine they're just gonna expand. They're uh, like a supernova and they're just going to um, gobble up these other players like Hulu. And that's just gonna add to greater dominance in the market with their own first party data because they have more control of the customer journey. And consumers are willing to pay for this content. Now, a lot of consumers spend most of their time on their mobile phones. They don't wanna have to go and search for it. And it helps keep themselves accountable because when they pay for uh, Amazon Prime, they're gonna spend more time on that because they paid for it. And this is, this is trending even more with the giants like Facebook, Google, and Amazon who have 61% of the market. And then you have everybody else that's fighting for breadcrumbs just to be able to, to compete with them for advertising. My point of view is this, as privacy concerns grow and paywalls grow and people are willing to pay for content more, uh, you're gonna see a lot of these larger players continue to gobble up the smaller players. And we can expect this trend to grow over the next five years. And it's getting easier because antitrust laws are really not paying attention. I mean, look at at and and their acquisition of Time Warner. The smaller players are just gonna have a much harder time being able to compete with the bigger guys, but they're gonna try to develop their own integrated solutions to be able to compete with them. Of course, retail giants, as I said, they're gonna grow. Look at Walmart's partnership with Microsoft. I can see Walmart in the future having a cashierless Walmart and then you have Wholesale, who's owned by Amazon, where you can literally have eggs delivered to your door on the same day. And ultimately, we're all gonna feel like we're in a prison because we're stuck in these walled gardens. So that's my point of view tonight, and here are my sources. <music>